disconnect the battery. Use a 10 millimeter socket, loosen this terminal up, take the negative terminal off and put it to the side. Take this cover off, remove the oil cap, slide the cover up, it just pops off. There's some grommets that hold it down. And just so you don't drop anything in there, put the oil cap back on. Disconnect this connector right here. There should be a little tab to push down on it. This vehicle, it's broken. You might have a lock tab, slide that lock tab out and disconnect the connector. Mass airflow sensor, disconnect this, push down on the tab and slide it off. And slide the wiring harness out of the way. Take a T25 and loosen up all these screws around the airbox. With all those loose, there is a clip right here. Just pop that clip off. Now loosen up these worm clamps. Use a seven millimeter socket or a straight blade screwdriver. Now we can slide this snorkel off and pull the air box up. And then slide the snorkel off the throttle body and disconnect this hose right here. Or if it's, if you're having trouble right there, you can disconnect it over here. Just slide it off. Now you need to disconnect the connector behind here. It's this two wire sensor. There's just a little tab. This hose that goes to the solenoid, you have to disconnect. There's a tab, you have to push in the tab and then you can slide the hose forward. There we go. So this little tab on the bottom, you just push that up. As that pushes up, then you can pull the, the hose off. And take a 10 millimeter socket and you're gonna have to feel around and there's a bolt. Loosen up that bolt. And you can take that bolt out and then you should be able to grab the purge valve and just slide it out. And there it is. Now you can take the new purge solenoid valve and just line it up the same way the old one came out. and then get that bolt started. This one already had the bolt with it. So you don't have to reuse the old bolt. And just snug it down, not too tight. Connect this hose and just lock it in place. Take the connector and line it up and lock it down. Now line the snorkel up, put that in position and put this hose back on. Uh, take the top of the airbox, line the hinge side up first, and slide it down, and attach it to the snorkel, make sure all the bolts line up. You can attach this clip on the back side right there, and then you can tighten all these screws down. And just snug them down, not too tight. Tighten down the worm clamps. Now 
Now connect the connector right here. Lock it down. And the mass airflow sensor. Lock it down. Now take this engine cover, remove the oil cap, line it back up. Push it down and replace the cap. Connect the battery, the negative terminal, and snug it down. Just make sure it's tight, that's good. 